Alright guys, welcome back to Jenny Gang, and today I'm playing Hogwarts, Hogwarts Legacy. Um, if you haven't yet, subscribe, join the gang, look like that, bow, 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 right in your face, you know what it look like. Like the video, you're gonna like it, it's me, and I am a wizard, from the hood, I wish I had the gat on me, no, no I can't do that, I can't do that. Um, uh, we're going to beast class, let's go to beast class. I still have to learn Despero. Dude. Welcome, everyone. Yeah, yeah. I see you've Despero. already yeah. met some of the many beasts we study in this class. Though be advised, none of these creatures should be taken lightly. They are all in their own way dangerous, especially if one does not know how to handle them properly. Now, it seems many of you are out of practice. Let's take some time to review the basics of how to care for a beast, shall we? Miss Sweeting, would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Yes, Professor Howen. Hello, I'm Poppy, Poppy Sweeting. This is a Don't worry seat. about Professor Howen's speech. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are perfectly safe. <gasps> oh! Miss Sweeting, pay attention, please. The tongue of a puffskin can be a slippery devil. Uh, yeah, yes, I see Professor. What it's okay, Here, Poppy. You can practice on Gerald. Just keep an eye out for his tongue. <laughs> Do I get a pet? You can use my brush. Just be gentle. Oh, and think pleasant thoughts. I like to think it in. What am I doing with a brush? I was like, one of. Oh, okay. That's lovely. I'm sure he feels much better. Aww. I think he might what be hungry. Would you mind giving him some beast feed? What do so you maybe... suppose the pellets taste like to Gerald? Pudding, I like to think. I think we can safely say that Gerald likes you. That's good news. He that seems better? very nice. I brushed him? He is. Kindness is one of his best qualities, right after ambition and cleanliness. Cleanliness next to godliness. everyone. Now, let's make our way to the pens and select another beast. And please, do be careful as you feed and groom them. Miss Sweeting, why don't you show our new student to the Neasles in the farthest pen? This way. The Neasles are over here. Neasles? The fuck is a Neasel? Like a scorpion mixed oh, with a leopard? A couple of Neasel whiskers ought to get me a few canuts at least. Enough to buy something from Honey Jukes. <laughs> You've got a name. <laughs> oh, stupid thing. Oh. Hey, you irrelevant, bro. You ain't got no. You got no name. What in Merlin's name are you doing? Oh, tuss, tuss, peculiar Poppy. Worries about a worthless little rodent. Her name is Persephone. <laughs> Her name is Persephone. <laughs> Whoa, that's really not funny. Look at that little bitch in the back. You want smoke? Please tell me you want smoke. <sighs> Let's go. It's kind of cool that the other houses interact. They're like friends and stuff because they're in class, not because they're assigned by house. Those two don't belong anywhere near this class. Poachers in training. Persephone was on to them instantly. Thank you for your help. Let's carry on. Feed and brush the measles just as you did with Gerald. <laughs> the measles really took to you. They know a good egg when they see one. As do I. Right. It appears our time has come to an end. Please Don't close even... the pens and see yourselves out. Now, where is our new student? Ah, there you are. I would like a moment, please. Can I finish? 
Is there a reason I had to do this? Is there a reason? Please tell me. Does that mean they're gonna help me in battle? Is there a reason, guys? All right, I'm gonna do, do you. You need it too, big homie. Is there a reason, y'all? What should they gonna tell me? Here, take some food. All right, teach. Hello, Professor. You Give me some coins so I can go buy this I did. potion. How did you find your first beast's lesson? It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Good. good. You seem to understand that when Very beasts good. are properly controlled, they can play a vital role in our lives. Some provide us with magically imbued materials, if cared for correctly, hmm. which does not include torturing them for whiskers. Well done, by the way. Probably best to let me handle it next time. Yes, Professor. Nah, They're nearly they as smoke. bad as the savagers in Rookwood's poacher pack. <sighs> Sadly, we're the ones who suffer. Stumbling over dead beasts. Terrible waste of resources. Surely the poachers can be brought to justice by someone. The Ministry, perhaps? Hmm. An optimistic idea. Now, why don't we focus on more immediate matters that we can control? Professor Weasley has asked that I prepare some assignments designed to help you catch up to the other fifth years. Be okay. on the lookout for my owl. Meanwhile, I also encourage you to study as many beasts as you can on your own time. Okay. Once again. Psst. Psst. Over here. What's up? Do you need something, Poppy? Thank you again for saying something to those brutes so that I didn't have to. You were an augury oh, at noon in the desert. I okay, certainly I hope that's a good thing. It's something my gran and I say. It means that something or someone is a welcome surprise. At least that's what we decided it meant. I couldn't stand there and watch them harm the poor thing. We're of a similar mind. Actually, in light of that, there's someone I'd like you to meet. Get your little side forest. piece. You've intrigued me. Very well. Lead the way. I'd hoped I would. Hmm. It's your little side piece, bro. I ain't mad at you. I wouldn't take just anyone there. In fact, you're the first. Really? Well, thank right, you. I think. Where are you going? As I said, we think alike. Pleasant surprise. Alright, where are we going? Hidden forest? <sighs> Forbidden Quite forward. the weather we're having, don't you think? Poppy, where are you taking me? It really is much better if I just show you. Mm -hmm. Make out point? You know what I mean? Don't worry, All right. we're nearly there. It's just ahead. Poppy. Whoa. Stand back. Okay. It's a hippogriff, right? Please meet High Wing. Isn't she just magnificent? Go on, introduce yourself to her. But be careful. You must always show hippogriffs the proper courtesy before you approach them. She gonna eat that bee? The bee just disappeared. Oh my god. We in the magical world of Harry Potter. Get lower. I knew it. I don't think I've ever seen a hippogriff take to someone this quickly. You can feed a brush her if you'd like. I come and check on her to. every once in a while. Bring her pasties, tell her what's going on in the castle. You wouldn't know from looking at her, but she's a dreadful busybody. 
Alright. Can I ride her now? Pause. Puppy! So, what did you think of High Wing? Beautiful. I thought she was brilliant. Can't believe you introduced me to her. I suspected you two might get along. Are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the Forbidden Forest? Hmm, perhaps. Did you know that once you earn a hippogriff's trust, they'll always be there for you? I've seen it firsthand with her. How exactly did you and High Wing cross paths? It's a longer story, but I rescued her from poachers a few years back, got her to safety and, well, she was fine until recently. You may have noticed that poachers are something of a problem in the area, so I worry they could get her again, and that I might not be there next time. Professor oh, Howard mentioned the poachers as well. She seemed to imply that we couldn't rely on the Ministry to help. I don't often agree with Professor Howen, but on that, I fear she's right. The poachers' influence is growing. I see them every day in the village, lingering, talking to people. They're up no, to no. something. Talking. I'm just not sure what. That does seem strange. Sounds as if they're planning something. Exactly. I think I'm going to look into it. Find out what's going on. What they're doing. I'll stop them. I think that's a fine idea. Information is power. And the more I know, the better I can keep Highwing safe. You seem right. undeterred. Will you let me know what you find out? Oh, very well. I will. I should be going, but we'll speak again soon, I hope. I got you, Poppy. I need... Sorry. I need um I need some coins. I need to buy one focus thingy. Once I get some focus focus, po focus potion, I can get this the sparrows uh spell. But I have no money. I am broke. Actually, I'll be right back. Let me see if I can go to Hogs Me. I can't even buy material. Never mind. I don't even worry about it. I'll be right back. Oh, shit. I'm, well, I'm here. I'm waiting for Miss... Oh, never mind. Yeah, Mr. Moon. I think after I do Mr. Moon, I have to do side quests. So I might end it a little early today with this episode. Um, because we can't, we literally cannot do anything until I get the spell. And I gotta get coins for that. So, yeah. Hello again, Mr. Moon. I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. Uh, Gladwin Moon, a Hogwarts caretaker, at your service. First, uh, please allow me to apologize if I seemed a bit uh, unsteady when we last met. I'm afraid I had a Mr. rather Moon. disconcerting encounter. Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. I suppose you could call it eventful. I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. Oh, of course not. Um, from what I understand, the village was lucky you were there. In fact, my recent visit to Hogsmeade is the reason I was hoping to bump into you. I could use your help with something. Do you see that curious statue over there? Watch what happens when that light changes from day to night. So we're supposed to sit here and wait. Now, if you wouldn't mind humoring me for a moment, see if you can remove the moon from the statue. Oh, 
Odd little contraptions, aren't they? It seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed. Which, incidentally, can only be done at night. Uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now and I'll explain more as we walk. Uh, ever since Thank that you. fateful day in the village, those curious statues have begun appearing about the castle. A fair number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. Someone, it seems, is trying to torment me. You see, that day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner something. and came face to face with a boggart, or, or shapeshifter, if you will, uh, which takes boggart. the form of whatever scares you most. Rebellion. This one took the form of a demigod. A demigod? <gasps> yes! Terrifying creature that can yeah, see the weird. future. Wholly unnerving. I encountered one when I was a lad in Korea. Terrible experience. Uh, those statues are demigises. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired play on my name. Some jackanapes used a boggart to learn my greatest fear and use it against me. I have my suspicion as to the scoundrel or scoundrels responsible. It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. That is why I need your help in removing the statues. Why me? Okay. A couple of reasons, frankly. Uh, first, your daring do against those trolls in Oxmead has gained you a reputation for fearlessness. Second, as macabre and hideous as a demigod is, most would find my fear of them unwarranted. You, however, have seen how they affect me. I'm at my wit's end, young friend. I simply can't bring myself to go near them. In fact, I know of two statues right here in the faculty tower. Perhaps you could start simply by removing them so uh, I can go about my evening duties. Why should I give a shit? Why would I do this? Seems all risk and no reward. Oh, rest assured, there's very little risk and there is, in fact, a reward. I will teach you a particularly useful spell. Uh, first, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Mm. You'll want to do that before wandering the tower at night. Uh, next, you'll notice that the door is locked. However will you get in? Mm. Alahamora, that's how. But what about curfew? Curfew? Oh, tosh! I sent you a bit like me when I was your age. Oh, the school was my oyster. <laughs> And I took advantage of it. <laughs> oh, everyone loved me for it. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Uh, now, you'll find one statue in the prefect's bathroom and the other in the hospital wing. Good luck. Oh, and thank you. No problem. Hot arm. Finally. Um, sorry, but uh, wait. Oh, I don't have the even. Oh, dope. Hello, Hamora. Oh, Jesus. What I gotta do? Do that. Well done! You're in! Remember, use a disillusionment charm so no one claps eyes on you. This is a. Uh, do I have a dis? Yeah, I do. Area of the castle, after all. Mount the staff. Okay. 
don't give a shit. Not me eating on the job. What's the purpose of me being here? Just read more notes? I don't care. <sighs> the pot of gold down there? Leprechauns? Oh. Maybe that's worth it. Maybe. Revenio. Make sure. Okay. Let's, let's dip. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Damn, that was loud. She don't see me. We are good. Anybody else? Oh, you know I gotta get it. Uh, I'm almost sure that makes a lot of noise. I'm about positive, honestly. A little bit more coinage. I need that. Yes, yes, yes. This is nice. This is cool. Is that so? Uh, a generation of coddled cape flappers that can scarcely tell the difference between Arcanite and Asphodel. Yes, well, it's still early. Perhaps they'll improve. You say that every year, Matilda. Gotta get rid of the ops, you know what I mean? They don't want to see my downfall. Uh, Revenue. That's a kid. That had better not be another student, I hear. You are to be remanded at once. Damn it, Theo. Why didn't you turn around the first time? I don't know. I don't know. I gotta start at the beginning? Oh, that's crazy. Did I get what I needed? Already. Here go again. Aloha, Mora. Sorry guys, I gotta, you know, do this again? Maybe not, never came through here. Don't care. Yep, yeah, there we go. Wig and potion. Coinage. Very, very important. I guess I ran right past this. Magic just quit. Oh. Never mind.
Uh, oh. Revenue. Anything else in here? A note. I'll be back. Another time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, make sure I got everything I need. Yeah, we good, we good, we good. Okay, I don't have to pick up everything. Okay. Uh, I gotta go upstairs, so. See on the next one. Must be the prefect's bathroom. You ain't got a lock on it. Wow. Look how simple. There's people in here? Enough time. Do go, 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 go. They can't see you, they can't see you, they can't see you. And that's mine. Oh! So all the way over is crazy. He didn't even fucking flinch. He didn't flinch. Go here. Okay. Thank God I didn't have to go back in there. I was gonna be pretty peeved. Can I get the fast travel? Thank you. Um, turn your back. I just need to turn your back. Turn your back. Thank you. Even if he's stuck. In the hospital wing on account oh. of my venomous tentacular. Not at the moment, no. Plenty of other perils and pitfalls to send them my way, though. Well. Sorry. I suppose I should begin my runs now. 
No! I suppose Professor Black knows best, but the students are terribly disappointed about Quidditch being cancelled. Don't make your fucking rounds. Yeah, no, I'm gonna do it. Uh, 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 fellas, um, <laughs> go, you go, don't look this way, flying about and the golden snitch, rather a lot like life, isn't it? Oh, I suppose I should pay closer attention in the next match, if there ever is one. I suppose you should. <laughs> Alright, we should be good. I gotta go that way. I'm sure you're gonna see me. Let's... Why would I... Which way I gotta go? go down those stairs? Okay, cool, cool. Cool. What the freak, dog? This is not for me. Sneaking around is not for me. Just, you know. I see. Revelio. He was never up here. Go over there. Turn your head. There you go. Bye bye. Nobody should be down here. We should be smooth selling. Hello, Mr. Moon. I have the moons you asked me to collect. Oh, goodness! You go. You're as fearless as I'd hoped. An excellent start. If we can collect more, it may shed some light on who's behind all this. Of course, I first suspected Peeves. He drove okay, the previous peeves. caretaker, rancorous carp, to an early retirement with his intolerable buffoonery. But that does not explain the bogger in Oxme, does it? No. I am determined, with your help, to discover the identity of my tormentor. It's definitely intriguing. I'd like to help you solve this mystery. Uh, you, my friend, are a gentle person and a, a scholar. And I have something to offer in exchange for your assistance. Coins? Now, remember, the Bogus moons potions? are only retrievable at night. Thus, I encourage you to use a disillusionment when necessary. Turn four. How many statues are there to find? I don't know precisely, but I've spotted dozens. Seems they're everywhere I look. You have your work cut out for you, if you were to ever unravel their meaning. You mentioned offering something in exchange for my assistance. I did. Uh, once you've brought me enough moons, I'll show you even more powerful forms of Alahamora. Fair Not enough. every lock is as easy to pick as the faculty towers. Understood. I shall keep an eye out. I appreciate that. So, I get it. I'm oh, and I help. knew you were the one to ask for help. Uh, keep at it so we can solve this mystery. Okay. So I literally cannot do my main missions until I um, get this potion. So, with that being said, I will see you guys in the next episode. Yeah, I'm going to see you guys next episode. Um, I thank you guys for watching. I love you guys. I thank you guys. Next episode, I'll have the spell. We'll have another quest. But I'm going to do side stuff off camera. I love you guys. Thank you guys. Peace. The Chicken Grease.